Hey guys, so I'm gonna start with showing you two clips. The first one is um, a clip of me doing damage. It's like a showcase of what this build can do. Um, the second clip is uh, how tanky this build is in uh, an outpost rush. Um, and then I'm gonna start with showing you um, the abilities, the passives and the active ones, and then the attributes, um, then the gear, and uh, what perks I use on it, uh, and then I'm gonna uh, show you the the rotation um, and how you're gonna kill people easy. Uh, so let's let's start. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the Warhammer uh, skills. Um, I have these. All the passives that I'm using right now is the best in slot, I would say. This one is really, really important. Hammer time. Uh, hardened steel is very important. Um, this one is very good. Quick recovery. Because you're usually gonna weave a lot of heavy attacks when you do damage. And this one is a must have. Uh, and this one is really really good as well I'm using uh, Mighty Gavel all the passives um, so I get the second attack then I'm using Shockwave mainly for the stun and debuff um, but it does a little bit of damage um, all passives are needed because this one is really really good to radius um, then I'm using Path of Destiny mainly for heals but also a little bit for, for the CC and uh, to have something that you can hit uh, on range because the life staff's normal attacks are not very good. Um, with life staff, I'm not even max level then, so I still have three points. Um, I'm probably gonna take both in sacred ground and then some passive. Um, but anyway, these skills, um, at least these two in protector. The orbital protection and the beacon are must-haves. The second ground is it's okay, but it's quite slow to throw. Um, it's like a one or two second cast time, so it's very very slow in PvP. Um, orbital protection is my main buff. I have it 100% up all the time, uh, and that's a both a heal and a fortify. Um, then beacon is really really good. I usually throw it on the ground as well um, and just stay in it for the heals. Sometimes if I play in a group I throw it at a teammate or something. Um, I'm not sure I might get the latest passive, um, but it's not super useful. 
um, and then the attributes so I've seen a lot of paladin builds but none of them are doing any damage uh, because they're only slotting focus um, I only have 150 focus but that's actually the perfect um, the perfect amount of uh, points because you get this one you just need to do a, enough heal to stay alive and you can do it with 150 focus then I have 100 constitution um, this perk is really good um, if you get 150 constitution but then you won't do any damage because you need this this perk so I'm sacrificing some um, sustain here for more damage and uh, it works pretty good um, so right now I have a food buff uh, this 30 strength one unbuffed I have uh, 185 um, and you definitely need at least 200 strength to do any damage um, so get at least 180 strength and then use 20 or more food buff um, and then my gear so my weapons are nothing special at all um, enchanted is a very good perk to have on the warhammer keen is also pretty good I haven't tried it but uh, any of those are probably really very nice um, I have the cruel gem more damage against stun enemies um, then on the life staff you really need to have blessed that's a very good perk more healing done um, then the jewel is infinity crystal you get it from a quest um, this ring I don't remember where I got it uh, and then you've got an gain that you get from uh, a boss um, that you can farm very easily all the gear I've just bought from the trading post I'm using Mending Protection perk on this one, it's very good. I'm using Beacon perk on this one, that's probably the most useful perk together with this one, Sundering Shockwave. Um, this is like the main debuff, so you really really need um, this perk. It's the main debuff and it's your, it's like a 50% uptime, so it's really useful. Um, then I also have Leeching Path of Destiny, which makes it a very good heal ability. Um, I've done more than 3k in heals with this one, uh, if you hit a lot of guys. Um, and on the legs, I don't have any perks right now. So it's a very simple build. Um, and then in uh, offensive, I usually all, always start with a heavy attack to get the empower bonus. So the full combination is heavy attack, then shockwave to get stun and uh, and the debuff, the ren debuff and then you make another heavy attack to get more empower and then you make, after the second heavy attack you make the mighty gavel with the second attack and usually 9 out of 10 times they are already dead even before the last mighty gavel hit um, if they're not like a tank or something um, if they're not dead you can make another heavy attack and then you can do the path of destiny um, and they will probably be dead uh, in defense you can use the, the shockwave as well to stun them 2 seconds and then you can run away otherwise I just always keep the orb of protection up and usually get around corners and throw down a sucker ground and the beacon something like that the beacon stays on you for 10 seconds, I think, after you walk from it, but the second ground doesn't stay on you. Um, so if you're on the foot, I usually just do the beacon and the orb protection. You just keep running and dodging. Mm, dodging with heavy armor is actually very good. Um, you're still invulnerable for like 1 or 2 seconds when you're doing it. It's maybe like 1 half second, but it's very useful anyways. Um, so the heal together with some movement and some dodges is gonna make you very very hard to kill um, and you're gonna also do a shit ton of damage with the heavy attacks 